research, no doubt. Internet research, trying to get minerals for the goat border and things like that. It's a good day. We are getting a goat yep. who is in milk and her okay. new kid who is a boy. Right? A buckling. Buckling. He's a buckling. We're going to call him Bucky, I think. Yeah. Don't know what we're going to call her yet because if she has a name and responds to it, we'll probably keep that name. We have to drive about three hours to the farm where they have the goats and three hours back. So this is a full day. And the only goal is two goats. First go. This is we got we got six hens yesterday and then this goat these goats today and we're just now I mean just now starting. day long 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 drive about seven hours of driving but in the end we got two goats and bringing our livestock count up to eight animals what a cool day I mean the goats are neat they're the mom was smaller than I thought she was gonna be and that's great for me because I was a little worried about managing her though pushing and pulling her out of the truck is no picnic uh, Baby's so adorable. I keep telling the kids he looks delicious, but he really is very, very cute. Well, they're down in the pen. We're gonna close them up tonight, like really tight, just because we're not we're not really confident in our fencing yet. Um, and hopefully they'll be warm enough. It's supposed to be 40 degrees overnight, but I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. We all gonna let the chickens out and then collect any other eggs because it's pretty cloudy in there now. Be free, chickens. We went down to the goats early this morning and they were warm and snuggled up and safe. So that was a win. We're expecting a delivery of a water tank this morning, a thousand gallon water tank. I've been expecting this delivery for about 10 days. We've had a lot of difficulty with communication with the driver because we haven't had a telephone. So carrying a phone with me, we finally have a quote unquote landline, which is actually a satellite phone, satellite internet based phone. And he can call and hopefully schedule delivery for today. I'm a bit worried about bringing this, his big rig onto the property I mean, they've probably been on here before. I've just never seen it, and I'm not sure how they're going to make the turn to get in here, but I'm going to leave it up to him. He's a pro, and hopefully we'll have a water tank today. I got four solar panels shipped to me yesterday, and one of today's projects is to get those set up and wired, and hopefully we can stop running this generator so much. That's the plan. Let's see how far we get.
excited to have the goats here. Mama is not too happy. We tried to milk her um, probably too soon, but um, we're a little, we've, it's only the first day we've had her here and we just wanted to kind of get her used to. We don't really have a stanchion yet. And so um, we just got done kind of, we kind of tied her to this post and gave her some grains and milked her a little bit, got maybe half a cup and then she knocked the bucket over. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure if it would go better if she was um, in a stanchion. She has not been milked this season. She's four and she's been milked other seasons, but not this season. So we are hoping that she'll get used to it again. Brendan's going to build a stanchion on Sunday and hopefully we'll be able to get her into it. Um, but she was not really happy with us. <laughs> so we did it for a little bit and just practiced, even just unfortunately squirted it on the ground just to kind of practice anyway then we let her have her baby back they're very happy to be together are you making noises you see yourself in the camera yeah you ready for mama aren't you need your ema back anyway we're excited to kind of get this rolling we've had about three eggs. I need to go searching the forest for more eggs. We let the chickens out of the coop and they kind of wandered into the forest a little bit and they keep coming back for water and to, you know, scratch around the chicken coop. So it's good. They know where the coop is, but I'm afraid they may be laying eggs in our forest and we have to go look for them. Because yesterday we found a couple eggs during the middle of the day. And so it's not just in the morning that we're finding them. So I think we need to go look for them. Milk stanchion, not a milk stanchion. Is it milk stanchion? Milking stanchion? Milking stanchion. Do you okay. know how to spell stanchion? Oh, S T A N C H I O N, I think. I just did it wrong like eight times and Google finally fixed it. Fixed for it for you. Yeah. Cool. This is the first thing we're working on because this is priority number two. <laughs> Your bit's broken. What was priority number one? It's broken. That big water tower up there? Yeah, we'll yeah. get to that. There's plenty of time in the day to do that, but I need to milk sooner than it's later. Priority one, but a goat's waiting on this, so. Yeah, we um, I tried milking the last couple days. Well, Megan tried one day, and I think we overwhelmed her because we were all crowding around trying to look at her. Well, I probably overwhelmed Megan, yeah, but also the goat. <laughs> and so, um, then I tried again yesterday, and she stood for me on one side, but then when I switched sides, she was done with her treat and she didn't want to stand for me. So I'm hoping with the stanchion that she'll stand longer because she'll kind of be forced to stay there. And um, right now we just kind of stake her, we tie her to a stake and um, she can move her back end all the way around, <laughs> even though her front end is stationary. So that's not working so well. So I really... I want to create a routine with her every day. We've only gotten not even half a cup of milk out yet. I'm hoping that we'll be able to uh, work her up to giving more milk. Put a goat in there. Little tray for food. Good milk from this side, right? You can try it, Micah. So stick your head in there, pretend you're eating. Okay. Mike needs to be about here. You can go thin, right? Yeah, okay. whole arm through there. No, check this out. So we can, we can adjust that to her. We can move it in and out or whatever. Now he, now he can't get out. There That's we go. Thing. What do you think? Can you get out? Don't try <laughs> to move through. Your head's the same width that way, but. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, you good, Micah? Today's your birthday? Mm hmm. Awesome. How old are you? Eight. Eight. Eight years old. What do you want to do today for your birthday that's the most exciting thing in the world? Well, I'm going to go inside a huge water tank. For why? To clean it out. You're going to go in it? Yeah. Let's do it. It's huge. Rachel, what's the plan? 
So we're milking. This is a milking stand. And we got the goat on it. We're trying to milk her. Um, if we get a lot out of it, um, I think Mommy's going to let me try. You want to make some cheese? Mm-hmm. Good girl. I'm so not good at it. Come in. It's yummy. Well, we got this 1,100 gallon water tank and uh, it's fresh from the factory. It should be fine to fill, but we just want to wash it once with some soap and water. A little so vinegar, maybe. There's some people in here that fit and uh, there they are. Hi washing guys. it out. Don't rock it. It doesn't fall over. <laughs> I go down the hill. What you doing? I am making Marcus cake for his birthday. Cool. And right now I am drawing a jellyfish. Well, you since know. we're short on wrapping paper, just wrap his head. Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. This one's for me and Rachel. I can guess, that, guess this one right away. Guess this. It's always like those. <laughs> you can help open your diapers. Three. Again, one, two, three, stop. Roll that pill. Goat dimensions. Normal. Standard goat. <laughs>